I am used to masturbating at least six times a day, so I no longer enjoy sex with my husband. Is masturbation bad? No! Masturbation is not bad. Masturbation is a way of understanding your body. A pastor cannot do the job of a relationship therapist because he doesn't even know about love. So many pastors cannot even make love to their wife. What do they want to teach you? Sex comes with responsibility. And the annoying part is, every man wants to have sex, but not every man knows how to have sex. Am I encouraging people to masturbate? Why are you fornicating? Why are you encouraging people to fornicate? You want to go and be sleeping with different men. You want to have a boyfriend you are fucking. And you're, it's the same thing. Welcome once again to Moment with Blessing CEO. We're going to be talking about everything that happens behind closed doors, relationship, sex, marriage. You know this word is built around relationship and marriage. No matter how people hurt us or break our heart, we are still going to love. That's why the Bible said you will forgive 70 times 7 times. That 70 times 7 times is not for your enemy. It's for your loved ones. Because if your enemy do you something one time, you go avoid that. But that 70 times 7 times is for your husband, your wife, your children, your loved ones. So thank you so much for tuning into this channel. I hope you're sitting down with your popcorn because today's story, it's a relatable story. In as much as it's a story that a lot of people pretend about. But remember, Blessing CEO is the only person that can speak the unspeakable. That can shake the unshakable. So this night, I want you to look at your husband or look at your boyfriend or look at your pillow and say, it is going down soon. So thank you so much for always joining Moment with Blessing CEO. This happened every 10 o'clock, channel 189, Pop Central. So we'll quickly read out the story so that we don't take most time. And I'm also sorry, please, for coming late. Forgive me for another day. <laughs> I'm sorry for coming late, guys. So let's quickly read up the story so that we can start up. And the story goes like this. She said, I am used to masturbating. At least six times a day, I must masturbate. So I no longer enjoy sex with my husband. Once he's on top of me, I can't wait for him to get down so that I can touch myself. Blessing see you, I have followed you for over four years now. And I have seen you grow, thank you, and speak intelligently. Thank you so much, ma'am. I don't want blames at this point of my life. All I need is solution. To worsen it all, I have no child. I have gone to different churches. I don't want to call names. But if it's for church and pastors, I have tried and tried and they concluded that I have a spiritual husband. Blessing see you help me. I want to stop masturbation. Teach me. I love you so much. Please, I want to stop masturbating. Okay. First of all, I'm going to commend your, your acceptance, your boldness, you know, the first rule to repentance is acceptance. Her story is, she says she's a chronic, for you to be masturbating up to six times every day, simply means you're a chronic masturbation, masturbator. It's like drug. It's like um, Igbo. Exactly. If you don't do it six times again, you want to kill Igbekus. And this woman is also a married woman now. She said, because she's used to masturbation, she doesn't enjoy sex with her husband. She can't wait for her husband to stop. Whenever she's making love to her husband, she can't wait for her husband to just calm down so that she can go into the toilet and masturbate. But at this point, she doesn't want us to throw her stone. She knows that what she's doing is wrong. 
and I love her and I commend her for being bold to say that. Now, all she needs is help. Before we open up the phone line, I will teach you guys something. Are you listening to me? Drop everything you're doing and listen to me. It's an order. You sit down away, they go to church, pastor will go say, stand up! Drop everything and focus on me. Eyeball to eyeball. Are you there? Tell that man to leave you alone. Happen walker. Tell that woman to leave you. First of all, before we open up the phone lines, the phone lines is right on your screen, but I'm going to throw in some insights. First of all, let me break it down. A lot of you use big, big words. There are some of you that just grew up to hear words that you don't understand the meaning. Masturbation, masturbation. If I ask 80% of people what masturbation is, they cannot define it. All they do is just hear the word, carry the word, and begin to use it. So now, let me first of all teach you and tell you the meaning of masturbation. The first thing people always ask me is, blessing, is masturbation wrong? Or is it right? If you masturbate, will you go to heaven? A lot of people always ask me, if you're masturbating, is it wrong? Are you going to go to hellfire? Is it something that is biblically written? Now, I'm going to tell you about masturbation from the factual point of view, not from the spiritual point of view. There is something I want to teach a lot of you. We have spiritual leaders. We have emotional leaders. We have educational leaders. There are some people who are professional in their field. A pastor cannot do the job of a relationship therapist because he doesn't even know about love. So many pastors cannot even make love to their wife. What do they want to teach you? They might be good in the spiritual aspects, casting demons, reading the Bible, but they are not good when it comes to emotions. In Igbo language, they will say, Eke lo lo eke. There's a reason why God diversified it. You can't do it alone. So I don't know what your pastor is telling you that it is demonic. All those things are lies. You know, this thing called religion is a very funny thing. When people lack understanding, they hide under religion and say, Don't call God, though. Don't call God, though. You're insisting God. That's the reason why a lot of people are still dying of ignorance. They don't know. Is masturbation bad? No. Masturbation is not bad. Masturbation is a way of understanding your body. I'm going to use myself as an instance. When I was about 12, 11 years old, I was still very innocent. So I remember that my dad used to beat me when I come back from school. That day, my dad had... Um, a meeting in the office, and he told me I should bait myself. As an 11-year-old girl, you know that point, they'll give you water, and I'll be splashing water all over the bathroom. So he, my dad used to call it, wash your ton ton, if he wants to say private parts. So yeah, bend down. My father will pour water and tell me to wash my private parts. So that day, when I finished bait, when I was baiting, it was time for me to wash my ton ton. I noticed that while I was washing my ton ton, I was feeling some sort of sensation I did not understand. It went that way. After three days again, my dad wanted to beat me. I told him not to beat me. When I wanted to wash my private parts, I felt that sensation again. So I couldn't wait to even take my bath. I didn't even know that that thing I was doing was masturbation. Until one particular day, I was trying to wash my private part when I was about 12, 13 years old. I now notice that something happened to me and it's as if I wanted to die. There was nobody to explain it to because our parents were not exposed. I did not understand that feeling till today. It is growing up. I now realize that that thing that happened to me that day and when that thing happened to me that day, I never touched myself again because I thought I was going to die. But growing up, and now going back to memory lane, I now realize that I, that was orgasm. 
a lot of young boys masturbate. They don't know. Now, the beauty about masturbation is understanding your body. The biggest pinpoint that spoils marriage is sex. Is an unspoken word. Some women don't want to be called prostitutes. Some women don't want to be called nymphomaniac. They are not enjoying sex. And the annoying part is, every man wants to have sex, but not every man knows how to have sex. When men come to me and tell me, oh, blessing, I like you, you're beautiful, I can't wait to get down with me. And I tell you, two minutes now, you are down. You waste my time. People who knows how to make love, they don't talk too much. So the annoying part is, if you don't understand your body, what will you teach your husband? There's something you understand about marriage, and I want you to listen to me attentively, whether you're married or you're single. Marriage is about learning, unlearning, and relearning. My slogan to my couples when they come for therapy in my office is, never marry anybody that is not teachable. I too know. They will never have a conversation. Every conversation always leads to an argument. Anything you say is always a fight. Don't marry such person. Because you cannot know it all. The reason why this man came to marry you is because he knows that where he has weakness, you have strength. And where you have strength, he has weakness. That's what marriage is about. That's why it looks as if sometimes in marriage, you marry, you marry the opposite. You will see the man very calm. You will see the woman very hyper. So, that's the meaning of masturbation. Masturbation simply means understanding your body. There is what is called a G-spot, a sensational part, is in everybody's body. But because our bodies are different, some people could be their nipples, some people could be their clitoris, some people could be anything. I don't know what you call it, but there's a sensational part. But the biggest problem we have these days is that a lot of young people do not take time to browse a woman's body. Why did I use browse? Women I like computer. If you own computer, before the thing goes first, from robo, 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 come connect to Wi-Fi, if you reach like three, four minutes, that's why a lot of people do not shut down their um, system. They just close it. I don't know what they call that stuff. Good. So the problem at this point of our life is the fact that you don't even understand your body. Let's assume I've had a couple that came to my office and she complained about the same thing. I told her, can I call your husband? She said, why not? She called her husband, baby, this is where I am. He said, he's coming there. Luckily, he was around. He even, he was even, he even cut his hair in my office. I was so shocked. I greeted him because I said, ah, is your wife? He said, yes. So we got talking. I told the woman, repeat exactly what she told me in front of your husband. She now said, eh, Madam, let's see. I thought you were going to talk to us privately. I said, no. That's the difference between Nigerian therapy and American therapy. It's supposed to even be couples. So that when you are lying, you know, sometimes when people come to us, they'll come and lie. That's what I realized in this career. The women can lie. They will tell you that they broke their head. Nobody broke their head. Some women are ready to break their head just to send their husband to jail. So when I called this man and I told this woman, narrate exactly the same thing that you told me. I asked her to narrate exactly the same thing that she told me to her husband. First of all, she was shy. I said, how can you be shy with a man that you've been married to for over five years? The husband was thinking something was wrong. Maybe she cheated. He was not telling her, honey, what is the problem? So I told him, open up. Then she opened up and said, ever since they got married, she has never got into orgasm. The husband now asked her, but you always come. You're always the one screaming, baby, I'm coming, baby, I'm coming. I don't understand this one you're saying that I don't satisfy you in bed. She says she was doing that just to boost his ego. So many times, a lot of women do not enjoy sex. They just naturally say these things to boost your ego as a man so that you don't feel bad. Now, before we go into the main topic and open up the phone line, men, 
especially the African men, I want to teach you something. Money does not keep a woman because she will always get someone that is richer than you. Sex does not keep a woman. Do you know what keeps a woman? Love making and comprehension. A woman would die for you if you can love her body, understand it, and study it. That's the reason why sometimes a lot of us, we are stuck with our exes. This guy is treating you so bad, but you cannot go because he's good in bed. Yes, as you are looking at me, sex is one of the most powerful things that God gave mankind. And that was why God said, leave it for married people. We not agree. We say we won't use fornication, kill ourselves. God specified that point because he understands that sex comes with responsibility. Now, every boy wants to fuck, but they don't want to bring money. Every boy wants to pour spam into a woman. They don't want to bring money to train the child. Let us do without condom. I don't like a condom. Now, okay, you've done without condom. Picking don't hang. You run. That is the issue. So masturbation is not bad. Anything you master, you become powerful. Master your body. Master your mind. Master your weaknesses. Me. My biggest weakness, even as a relationship therapist, I've gone for different anger management classes, anger. They taught me how to walk away. If you upset me, I'll be that kind of girl we go call it, but wipe you. Maybe by now, if I don't do kiri kiri. Thank God for even fame and media, because I used to be choco choco, choco choco, but they do me. If you come, you go collect. So beautiful women, teach your husband. Some people will say, these men are not teachable. These men are not that. These men are not that. Try. Many of you have not tried. And one thing I notice is when many of you are dating these men, because you are looking for marriage, you'll be doing good girl, good girl. You will not complain that time, oh. Baby, you are not satisfying me, oh. You'll be saying, oh, oh. When he marries you now, it becomes a problem. Now, let me now tell you the advantages and disadvantages of masturbation before the line starts to ring. Masturbation enables you to understand your being, your G-spots. Growing up as a child, the reason why a lot of you young girls were molested is because you did not know what G-spots was. Our parents didn't teach us this. I remember then in biology, in biology class, when they say anything about a woman's body, all of us would be laughing. Now that part is the sweet pass. Even when you go to church and you see pastor talk about love, sex, you see everybody smiling. So, first of all, is understanding your body. Like I said, that's the reason why in those days we had a lot of rape issues. Many people think that a lot of women who are single mothers, they are wayward. No. It's just a young girl that did not know her G-spots. You can go and meet a guy now. He will buy you Fanta biscuit. The next thing he starts to touch you. If you don't know your G-spot at that point in time and the guy touches that part, trust me, you will fall. But if you know your G-spot, you will guard yourself. You will wear your bra. You, will, you know your weakness if you don't want to have anything to do with the man. So the advantage of masturbation is understanding your body so that whoever comes into your life, you can teach them. The disadvantage of masturbation is the fact that it is addictive. Masturbation is like drug. Have you ever seen a drug addict before? That's what masturbation is like. When you start to masturbate, you start to feel like, if I don't do this thing, I can't get pleasure. Is a mindset. Let me tell you how masturbation works. You cannot masturbate without a picture in your head. First of all, before you start to masturbate, you visualize or you start to watch pornographic movie. You have to watch porn. When you are watching that porn, what is making you enjoy that porn is that you are visualizing yourself that you are the one banging the game. 
in your head. You have removed the guy and put yourself. So everything happens in your head. The same thing with masturbation. When you want to masturbate, you must have visuals, something that you are thinking about that will make you to want to go and start touching yourself. Now, and this is where the advice comes in. How I'm happy, I always back it up with the Bible, though I don't know the verses. God did not say don't do. He said, too much of everything is bad. As a human being, your power is the ability to control your habits. Your habit is not supposed to control you. You are the person. Once I reach two minutes, or once I take two bottles of Gouda, I know so I don't gauge. Begin go out. Don't overstep your limits. So masturbation is not bad. I've told you the advantage. I've told you this is an advantage. So now I'm going to talk to this woman before we open up the phone lines. I am happy that you've come to a conclusion to understand that you don't even want to masturbate again, right? Now let me teach you how to stop masturbation. When you feel like masturbating, distract yourself with something else. House chores, pick up, pick up a book and start to read. It's not going to come that easy, Right? But you put your mind away from it. That's what masturbation is all about. Number two, to the woman who sent us the story, have you told your husband that he doesn't actually satisfy you in bed? Because it baffles me sometimes in this job, in as much as I cannot call names, you will see a wife saying, my husband does not satisfy me. And you will see a side chick saying, my, my sugar daddy in a machine for bed. I don't understand. Men, the cheaters, where do you used to keep your strength? Or you will finish, go and give your side chick the strength and come back and give your wife chaff. That your husband that is doing that he cannot say, if you see where he's handling all these small, small girls, you'll be wondering, is this my husband? So I'm going to say, talk to your husband. You know, the biggest problem we have that we've not been able to to cover up is the fact that we always want to cut things from the branches, not from the root. We already have a root problem. And the root problem is choice and comprehension. The moment you can communicate with your spouse, the moment you can tell them, baby this, baby that, them love making it sweet, baby touch me here, this is what I feel. Some women come to them that they have not got into orgasm for two years after, during marriage, even in relationship. I said, how? She said, their husband is not good in bed. I said, your husband is good in bed. Teach him where to touch you. She can, I said, have you not masturbated before? She said, yes. Tell your husband to touch that place that you used to touch and you come. Let him touch it. This is simple. She said, eh, you know the African men. Then you, why did you marry an African man? Why did you not marry a man you know you cannot communicate with? Sex is just communication. It's the simplest thing. It can be communicated silently, not even with fights. It can be communicated in so many ways. You can say, baby, let's try this. Baby, let's do this. That's why you guys are couples. So I'm going to tell the beautiful woman who sent the story, calm down. You're doing well. Repentance is the first rule to acceptance. So we are going to open up the phone lines so that we can get opinions from different people before I finally give you my final opinion. After this session, don't forget, we personally have a therapy lounge where you can walk in and talk to professional therapists about your relationship and marriage. You know, this thing we do on television and video is just opinion not solution. Solution does not come with just a word. Solution comes with, you will have to follow up on that person. So what we're doing right now on television is like opening the doors. In this story we talked about are so many people's story. A lot of people can relate to masturbation. So, but before we continue, let us open up the phone line. The phone line is right on your screen. Feel free to call the number to contribute 
to masturbation. I'll be very happy if every one of us is honest because almost everybody masturbates. Hello? Sir, can you turn down the volume of your TV? Please, when you're calling in, turn down the volume of your TV. Once the volume of your TV is on, I'll be here, you'll be echoing. If you want, once we pick your call, reduce the volume of your TV. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Your name is what? Please, can we get the next caller, please? Okay, while we're waiting for the next caller, please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. If you want to contribute, you don't have to raise the volume of your TV to hear your voice because it's affecting us on the studio. The number to call is right on your screen. And if you're just joining us, we're talking about masturbation, about a married woman who masturbates six times in a day. Hello? We have a caller. Hello? Hello? I think we lost that caller. We're actually talking about masturbation. A lot of people who are used to masturbation and they no longer enjoy sex. Hello? Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, go ahead. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Shola. Go ahead, sir. Contribute. We can hear you. Okay. Yes, Sound reduce. Well, let me hear what you say. Increase it. Let me hear what you say. Hello, can you hear me? I'm hearing you, sir. Go ahead. Hello, I can hear you. Go ahead. Please, can we get another caller, please? Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. It's exhausting. Okay? The phone number to call is right in front of your screen. As soon as your call is being picked, reduce your television, drop your opinion. We have another caller. Hello? Hi. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Can you turn down the volume of your TV? Why are Nigerians so annoying? You have to say things over and over and over again. Hello? Let me keep me tired already. Hello? Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, call him from where? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Speak on. Okay, all right. So, uh, I want to contribute. Let's start to ask the question. Go ahead. Okay. You said uh, masturbation is to understand your body system. Mm -hmm. So, I want to ask, must you masturbate to understand yourself, your body system, sexually? Yes, you have to. That's my question. Just want to understand. Is it compulsory? You, you, you have to. to Your question is yes, you must masturbate. If you don't masturbate, you will fornicate. And somebody will help you find your G spot. 
Masturbation okay. is the twin, the, the twin brother to fornication. So if you do not masturbate as a person and you start to fornicate, that is where when a man touches a woman, it's as if she wants to die there. That's forbidden okay. fruits. Yes, when you find a man who finds your G-spot as a woman, it will be very hard to let go. That's why you will see lots of beautiful women in a relationship and you'll be wondering, what is keeping this person here? Now, prick. It's because the person have understood her body. Do you understand? But not everybody is patient. I'm not saying you must masturbate. But how many men are patient to even browse a woman's body? They just want to enter, okay. release, and come out. That's why it looks as if the younger boys are winning. You will see a rich man's wife that has all it takes. She will have a sugar boy that will use five hours to lick her and eat her and understand her body. Okay. That is women for you, yes. I, I actually had this argument with somebody. Somebody was telling me that women, lo women love money more than sex. I say it's a lie. Women love sex more than money. That's a topic for another day. Thank you so much for contributing. God bless you. So we'll take another caller. You want to go ahead? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want to. I would like to know if this woman has been masturbated before he married the man, mm. or if only after he married the man, I started masturbation because there is something that makes her so masturbate six times a day. And okay. also, I observe kind of lack of communication with her husband. That okay. have resorted to do that as well. Okay. So I think, like what she said, she has to heal it from the roots. What forms have to be masturbating before resorting to the whole system today and unable to enjoy our all done and All right, sir. Thank you so very much for your contribution. God bless you. Thank you very much. Now, the young man also contributed and said, he talked about masturbation. He said you can actually stop it. Um, the truth about masturbation is very simple. Masturbation is the same thing as fornication. So if you can fornicate, you can as well masturbate. Why did I say masturbation and fornication are twin brothers? The difference is that this person is touching you and you're not married to the person and you are touching yourself. That's just the difference. So if you're masturbating and you're fornicating, you're already there. Me, I will even tell people, it's because Kukuma just finished the scene. Because now they say, hey, fire, all of us go, waka, they go. You understand? So we're going to come back very soon and still throw more light in this particular topic called masturbation. Because it's a topic that a lot of you can relate to. Yes, you. We're going to be right back. Hi guys, welcome back. This is Moments with Blessing CEO, where we talk about everything that happens behind closed doors. Relationship, marriage, sex, all those unspeakable things that you shy away from. It's what we are talking about. Because it's those silent things you don't talk about that actually break marriage. I used to tell people, forget all these celebrity noise, they will come and be writing a piece too. They have not told us the reason why they are quarreling. And that's the reason why. When a husband and wife is quarreling, leave them. It's them that know their... They know, the two of them are blunt and liars. It's when they enter their bedroom. Now, they are no way to cause fights. So, if you're just tuning into the channel, thank you very much. God bless you. So, I'm going to give you a recap of the story. We're talking about a woman who has been masturbating. She says she's used to masturbating. She masturbates six times a day. To the fact that um, she doesn't enjoy sex with her husband. Each time her husband touches her, she can't wait for the guy to just come, let she go masturbate. Now, she's not here for judgment. She's just here for your, op for your opinions. She wants to know, are people masturbated? How did you get out of it? Because masturbation is an addiction. It did like cocaine. You know, it's so easy for us to just sit in our household and be passing judgment on people like um, God. But these are things that happen to many of you. I will hit my chest and I will say 90 to even 95% of people all masturbated. Yes. 
Even if you don't masturbate, you fornicate. Yes. People who know quick masturbate, quick fornicate. So that's the thing. So that's what we're talking about. So the phone number to call is right on your screen because we want to hear your opinion on this case of masturbation. And please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV so that it doesn't echo. You can hear me clearly now, right? So when you're calling in, reduce the volume of your television so that we can have a very... Hello? I'm not talking to Bless and CEO. Yes, this is Bless and CEO. Okay. Uh, I was watching the channel. How many? Okay, go ahead. You want to contribute to the show? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sir. Yeah, but, but, but this, uh, it's kind of echoing. Turn down the volume of your TV. Okay. I can hear you now. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, your, your... Okay, we lost that caller. Please call back. And if you're calling, please turn down the volume of your television set. That's the only way I can help you. We are still talking about masturbation and how to get out of it. But I want to hear different opinions. Hello? Turn down the Hello? volume of your TV. Hello? Hello? Can you turn down the volume of your television, sir? This is Derek. Hello? I can hear this you. This is Derek. I just want I'm to tell you, you I love you so much. You look so beautiful. Thank you very much. God bless you. I just want to tell you I love you so much. You look so beautiful. Thank you so much and God bless you. Derek, thank you for loving me. So back to what we are talking about, we're talking about masturbation. Um, feel free to call the number on the screen. Let's share our experiences. Make me realize that we will really pass. Almost all of them, they watch this show and I say, we're be masturbators, fornicators, and adulterers. Open mass, make we share matter and let other people learn from it. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello? Good evening, madam. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm calling you from Cardula. Okay. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Okay. So I, I, I actually have a question for you. Go ahead. My question is, why are you justifying on the, um, masturbation? Okay, your question is, why am I justifying masturbation? Yes, you are saying it's okay and it's the same with fornication. And the way you talk with, I don't know, are you saying it's okay for people to be justifying, to okay. be masturbating? Hold on. I will answer your question, but let me throw a question before I answer you. You asked me, am I encouraging people to be masturbating, right? That's what you asked me, right? Can you hear me? Okay. As we, have we lost the caller? Yeah. Hold on, I want to respond to that question. She said, why am I supporting masturbation? Am I encouraging people to masturbate? Before her line went off, I wanted to throw a question to her. Why are you fornicating? Why are you encouraging people to fornicate? You want to go and be sleeping with different men. You want to have a boyfriend you are fucking. And you're, it's the same thing. You are, it's just um, sinners judging people. You sleep with sugar daddy, Ashao. You sleep with man with your boyfriend, the same Ashao. So long as the man never marry you, you'll be Ashao. You're a side chick. The only people who have the audacity to talk are people who are legally married. Don't come and tell, come and tell you I'm going to my boyfriend's house and, and this girl gets sugar daddy. She's better, even for in the same WhatsApp group, she will better pass you because you, when they go boyfriend house now, show bam bam. You know they ever wear better wig. Now sponge they carry for your head. But the other one will go meet sugar daddy, at least they travel around the world. It's the same thing. So let's stop judging this thing to suit our selfish interests. Masturbation is the twin brother to fornication. If you can masturbate, you can fornicate. And that is the birth of adultery. So let's stop all this vavavoom. 
you will all masturbate in your closet. So the woman is saying, what is the solution to masturbation? Not telling me I am supporting. The biggest problem with Nigeria is that you people don't want to talk about the real problem. You people want to be hovering around the problem. And that's why Nigeria is the ruin. You can imagine someone telling me that I am supporting masturbation. You will be so shocked that this same caller is a masturbator. But because somebody has come out, you know one thing about Nigerians, they're waiting for the first person to come out to be a scapegoat. You don't want to make it look as if the woman is a bad person. That's a lie. You'll be so shocked a lot of people who want to come and judge this woman are prostitutes, are people who do unspeakable things. So masturbation is not bad. It can be addictive. It's the same thing as sex. Have you not seen people who are, and what do they call them, nymphomaniac? They, are, they, they don't give them money, they just like knack. Have you not seen people who are kleptomaniac, people that just steal for fun? They have it, but if they go, they go thief one slippers. Go and read about it. And I will ask you a question. I need a man or a pastor to answer this. Where in the Bible did God say masturbation is bad? I leave that assignment to you while you call the number on your screen. Give me that verse of the Bible where they said masturbation is bad. God said fornication. He did not call masturbation. But because you people are fornicating, you people want to make it, you are a fornicator. You are going to have fire. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? We lost the caller. So like I was saying, the problem is that we want to be judging different sin. You, you go your boyfriend, go your boyfriend's house, go collect prick, come back. This one go in sugar garden, go collect prick, come back. You're going to judge him. After I'm in my boyfriend's house, madam, you are going to have fire with okay. us. Okay, hello. 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 I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead, darling. Hello. I am hearing you. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry, I called back. I lost my call before. Okay, were you the same lady mm -hmm. that called to ask if... So what I was, said, what I was trying to say is, mm -hmm. I don't... Please, let's have another call. I can't hear her. Okay. So we lost the caller. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. We are, even, we are out of time so that we can get a lot of opinions before we jump into conclusion. We have another okay. caller. Hello? Turn down the volume of your TV. Can you hear me? Is the call still on? Hello? Hello, good evening, sir. Now, very dark man, they talk. I beg I didn't masturbate. Waiting be the waiting be the solution. Okay. I'll give you the solution. Is that all? Um, we lost the caller, but I think the caller is just being stupid. Anyways, he said very dark man, they masturbate. I ain't gonna stop. Anyways, we've seen a couple of videos of very dark man masturbating. It's all over the internet. Waiting go make and stop. Madam, I shall hold you in blood. Enough is stop. Period. Next caller. <laughs> We're actually talking about masturbation. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Ma. What's your name and where Hello? are you calling from? Hello. Good evening. Hello. Uh, Hello. Hmm. I wonder how you guys are going to be looking at me in television because this is tiring. If it's real life now, for don't take this mic stone person for reduce the volume of your TV. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay, please. Hello, can you hear me? I am hearing you. Okay, please. I want to I want to correct you on something. You Go ahead. said something about the Bible saying that shall not commit fornication. I didn't say so. Yeah. I didn't the say so. I said masturbation. Don't misquote me. No, 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 no. You said the Bible did not say masturbation, but fornication. Yes. 
So I'm trying to say. The Bible they say that shall not commit fornication. Is adultery the Bible um, stated, not fornication? So there is a difference between fornication and adultery. I don't think uh, fornication was mentioned in the Bible. It was adultery that was mentioned. And let, I let, let me, let me rephrase. Hold on, let me rephrase it for you. you. Let me rephrase it for you. Our biggest problem is English language. You said the Bible said adultery. What is adultery? Sleeping with somebody else that is not your husband. What is fornication? Sleeping with somebody you are not married to. What is masturbation? Touching yourself instead of allowing your husband and wife to touch you. Why are you people hovering around? You know this thing called English? You just contradicted yourself. Yes, the Bible talked about adultery. What is the meaning of adultery? That is the reason why the Bible did not specify so much on fornication because the Bible have already said sex is a sacred place for marriage. God did not know that we will turn this place to Sodom and Gomorrah. We'll start to do threesome, orgy party, and our sex, gay, les gay, lesbianism. And that was what made God burn down the Sodom and Gomorrah at that period. So don't say that. People should stop mixing this thing. Adultery, fornication, masturbation, twin brothers. Now the same umbilical cord, now tie them. So if you're in any of these three, we are marching to her fire. Me, I'm just doing one plus now one or two. Now one. So if you are doing the three of them, go see law. We have another caller. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. I can hear you. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. I'm What's your name and where are you calling from, sir? My name is Chuka Thompson. Okay. You want to contribute to the show, sir? Go ahead. I'm sorry uh, about masturbation. All right. Um, how does men indulge in masturbation? How do you ignore? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Man, what uh, man? Ha, that, do you have to masturbate to discover your gist? What? <laughs> man, no, you don't need to masturbate to discover your gist. spots. Let me give you a short okay. story. Stay on the screen. Well, you Let said me... masturbation. Uh, masturbation is compulsory in order for you to discover your. I G didn't point. say it's compulsory. The problem with you guys is comprehension. I never said it's compulsory. I said is the best way to discover your G-spot. If you don't discover it through masturbation, you will discover it through fornication. Don't contradict my word. And let me... Okay, if I, if I am getting you, if I am getting you, hmm. if I am getting you... Go ahead. So, a man doesn't need to masturbate to discover his G-spot. That's G-spot. what I want, to, I want to explain to you. So listen. There's okay, a difference between a woman's body and a man's body. I'm right. going to use my six-year-old son as an example. He's six years old. He doesn't know anything. All he watches is cartoon and play with his iPad. I don't know what happened one day. He now tuned into a channel, MTV Base. I remember. It was Timaya that they were playing, Shake Up Your Bum Bum, Bum Bum. My son ran to me in the room and said, Mommy, Mommy, my tonto is standing. <laughs> that is a six-year-old boy. I did not know anything, you know. I'm telling you that your hormones, as you begin to grow, your hormones, just like I said from the beginning, you'll be noticing that each time you touch your nipple, there's a sweet sensation. But because we don't teach sex education, a lot right, of people I... don't know. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting you. I think I'm getting you. Do you get me? So, 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 I, I, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Is it not, is it normal for somebody to masturbate for six times on daily basis? It's not normal. That's why she's saying it's an addiction. It's like saying, is it normal for you to smoke both from morning to night? That is what we are talking about. Um, we are not talking about masturbation. We are talking about how do we help her cut down the excess? She's now addicted and the Bible said too much of everything is bad. The one thing about masturbating and addiction is once you are addicted, you will never, ever enjoy sex. 
there is no amount of sex you must touch yourself. So that's why the woman have discovered that it's a problem. You know, the first rule to solving a, uh, a, a, to bringing a solution is to know the problem, and that was why. Okay, when okay, I read okay. Look at let's look at the other hand. Let's look at the other hand. Okay. Can we look at the two brother of, of? Can we look at what? Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. All right. Let's look at the other side of masturbation, fornication. Do you fornicate six times in a day? That's not a personal question. You're not throwing the question to me. I'm it's, throwing it at you, yeah. It's not my story. I can even you stay said months. masturbation is a twin brother to fornication. Yes. Uh, so you can you can you fornicate six times in a day? Your problem is I think you lack comprehension. Thank you. God bless you. Let's take another caller. Hello. So um, this caller um, is trying to be, you know, I think they're the masturbators. You know, sometimes when you hold a mirror and they see their reflection, they start to talk off key. We are not even judging anybody, masturbation, fornication. We are talking because these are things we don't talk about. A lot of people are learning their body. This one where they shout, it is okay for you to masturbate. This one now, Ashao, if you go now, they pack a show for road, not them. When you, hear, when you listen to a depth man, you would know because he was beginning to ask a foolish question. This woman came for help because she realized there are some people that are still masturbating that do not believe that is a problem. You need to first of all say, this thing where I do, I don't tire. I remember when my mom used to fight my dad to stop smoking cigarettes. My father would say that if he does not smoke cigarettes, he cannot shit. I don't know what happened one day. My father came back and said to my mom, you see today, I don't know what his eyes saw. That was the day he dropped the cigar on the ground. I remember that day in Lagos, he matched it and said, no more. Since that day to today, I have never seen cigarettes in my father's mouth. Now, this thing is called determination. He now knows that a, if my father hadn't stopped then, now that he's getting older, this is where the repercussion begins to come. Because when you are mas when you're a chronic masturbator, number one, you will be a cheat. Number two, you will not be able to stay with one man. Number three, you will be a lesbian. You will be everything. People who masturbate and cannot control themselves are people who can do anything for sex. Those are those ones that are wild and crazy because they want to try everything. And I also want to tell you something before we get the next caller. A lot of you young people that used to watch pornography and copy them, and you want to go and do it to your wife or to your girlfriend, get with it, I watch. You get one point where I watch, where the man prick long, reach Jericho. You want to come and practice this on your girlfriend. I want to tell you something. If you're opportune to be on the station, those things are edited. Before they shoot a porn movie, they will make sure that the guy is in the Russian. They go rub an oil for prick. The woman go anywhere where they are now cut and join. So don't go and kill somebody's child for one hour because you are doing pa pa pa. You are watching pornographic movie. That is a movie that was scripted and edited. So the earlier you begin to understand, because that's what's killing our men. They have. That's why a lot of men today are on drugs. They want to satisfy one. What? You want to kill somebody's child? I have told you before on this show that the highest you can go is five minutes. Maybe after like maybe two, three, four hours, you guys can go again. You are not signing death warrants. You're a prick. You're know, she, she, you not know a run. So my point is, for people who want to come and say blessing is supporting masturbation, yes, because you're supporting fornication. If you can fornicate, you, you can masturbate. Don't switch the other scene and leave the other scene. You thief pepper, you do Yahoo. The same prison. Thief na thief. That's why they say if you want thief, thief better thief. So if they even catch you, your parents will be proud of you to see you in crime fighter. At least when your mother see you in crime fighter with chain on your leg and on your hand. And they say, Mr. Okonkwa Eric, we are sending him to life imprisonment for stealing 37 billion. Now you go say, oh, mom. That's my child. Agu, agu. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm only trying to say, let's stop deceiving ourselves. A lot of men are jumping and crying is because 
they don't want to lose Oshobambam free sex. If women decide to start to masturbate and you know your G-spot as a woman, a man will never freak you. You can't be say sex toys full everywhere. That's the honest truth. And that's the disability of a man. Once you start masturbating, you will not enjoy sex. You will not be able to feel your partner. It was that you become insatiable. So fornication, masturbation, adultery, the three of them are twins. They are triplets. They came out together. So choose the one you want to do. Anyway, all of us, hair fire, we are going there. When we go there, we shall meet two parts no more. So feel free to call the number right on your screen to contribute. We're actually talking about masturbation. Yes, a woman who has been married for years and have been dealing with masturbation. We have a caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, ma'am. Hello. Good evening. What's Hello. your name? Hello. We lost that caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. It's exhausting. So before we get the other caller, please, if you're calling, the phones are beeping and jamming. Turn down the volume of your television. We can hear you. I want to even hear your opinion. I want to hear what you, how you feel. I want to share with your brains. Hello? 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 Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, what's your name and where are you calling from, please? I'm uh, calling from uh, Mwangi, Atapok. Okay, okay sir. So okay, you want to contribute to the show? I want to understand something from what you talk. I okay. try to six months, can six years, can understand what you talk. Now. Oh God, oh, and be audible. You say what's in? Can you increase the volume for me? I say I hear what you talk. I try to six years, can understand what you talk. You came on me, my trick or this that, turn up this that. What is he saying? I'm not hearing him. Hmm. Repeat what you said. I cannot hear you. You know, you hear me. Talk when you talk again. I say, you say, mm. your son mm -hmm. is a six years mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm. so, and you come out one day to tell you, say, Mom, my quick is stand up all this that I die of six years understand this kind of thing. No, let me, oh, no let, more, let me teach you. You sound... Oh, you, he's okay. So let's end the call. Let me teach him because he sounds like an illiterate. You know, I would tutor. He said, he asked, he said, why is it that my six-year-old son came and told him that he's prick? My son did not say my prick was standing. It was an abnormal thing. That was when I realized hormones. Even as a young boy, when you grow up sometimes, you've not done anything. As you wake up, your prick go stand. You go go peace. Yes, it happens. So immediately he saw it to show the innocence that he didn't even know what it was. Mommy, mommy, my contour is standing. And after the ones that you watch it, blue change. And anytime Brian tunes to MTV base and they are doing ash, his tonton used to stand. So I removed it completely from the channel. It's only cartoon that is on his television. What am I saying? These are hormones. Even as women, from six, seven, eight years. That's why you'll be shocked that a 12-year-old girl can get pregnant. It's awareness. Even my son, I have a 12-year-old son. If he's going back to school, I will tell him, Daryl, if any man call you and tell you, if I come one close to you, first of all, give him two by two before they call me. Maybe I can't use gun, shoot him. I teach my son about homosexualism. I teach my son a lot because in those days, our parents didn't teach us anything. If you see us in those days, we were looking like wayward children. No, we were not. It's because our parents were not giving us the right answers to these questions. They born you were to ask that kind of question. So many of us discover this sex from fornication, that your small boyfriend for um, primary school under the staircase. Some boys started sleeping around from six years, seven, eight years old. 
Some people will tell me it is their nanny, their house girl. A lot of men were also molested. It's as you begin to grow, you now begin to understand this stuff. So there's nothing wrong in masturbation. The masturbation is to understand every part of your body so that you will be in control. You will be in charge. So that when a man starts coming close to that place, you will say, I beg you. But when you do not understand your g spot, you'll be punishing your husband unnecessarily. Which kind of wicked wife you be? You'll be wish. It's as simple as ABC. Tell your husband where to touch you. You are talking about fornication then. You want to be going to go and be fucking man, Ojo Bam Bam. After fucking Ojo Bam Bam, he'll give you belay. You come and start shouting. Bless you, help me. I'm a single mom. Single mom will kill you there. Because when you're opening your leg, now that I'm talking about it, you are doing your face like this because you are with your boyfriend. Continue fornicating. The worst thing about fornication is that it can lead to unwanted pregnancy. But masturbation cannot lead to unwanted pregnancy. Adultery, hair fire, they go pursue you, come off for husband house. So choose your sin wisely. Either you choose adultery, fornication, or masturbation, or you just stay clean. But I know you cannot stay clean. Mm? There's something you are doing inside your house. So feel free to call the number right on your screen. We'll quickly go on a break right now, guys. Do we have a caller? Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. My name is John. Okay, sir. You want to contribute to the show? Yes. Um, first of all, I want to commend you for the program. It's quite educative. Thank you, sir. Um, this is my first time of seeing this. It's very, very educative. Thank it's you. It's fine. Thank you. Then, but um, my contribution is this. Um, I feel some people indulge in masturbation for different reasons. Some could just do it for essential satisfaction. Probably of to sleep with another woman elsewhere. I'm speaking from the perception of being a guy. So instead of going to cheat on your woman or seeing somebody else, just like feel like they just satisfy yourself, depending when the woman comes around. They do that and they leave. Then another thing is this. I've always believed that there are different kind of um, tribes. You have the hunger drive, you have the sex drive. And both drives are meant to be satisfied. But there's a way you go about satisfying them. It becomes a sin, or it becomes wrong. Not sounding like a pastor, there are two schools of thought. Your religious should be a school of thought. Academic excellence could be a school of thought. When it comes to marriage, it's another school of thought. And in all, compatibility is important. So I felt, on the other hand, when it comes to sex and the rest of them, there's what we call compatibility. If you're married to a woman and you're not sexually good, you can't satisfy her. But in the religious institution, they tell you having sex before marriage is sin. And a lot of people have gotten into this kind of situation. Sorry, my point is this. And the end of marriage is that you cannot satisfy depending on man's sexual history or the woman's sexual history. And in that situation, it becomes a problem. And I want to believe this has led to some broken homes. And you know now, once you're in, you have to live with this for the rest of your life. Or you have to cheat on your partner. Even if you're very good and good discipline that you can hold on to yourself, control yourself for like a period of time. For how long can you control yourself? If you're going to live for 50 years, are you going to deprive yourself of that pleasure for 50 years? So for me, it's all boils down to the reasonings and your actions. Some do these things because they don't want to cheat on their partners, just to satisfy themselves temporarily and they're gone. And some probably indulge in this kind of sex movies, probably to be educative, educated in some areas just to explore so they can actually learn how to satisfy their woman. But trust me, it could be seen as a means to an end. I think for me, what really matters most is intentions behind your actions. I'm not okay, just sir. doing it. 
All right. Thank so, you so much, sir. That's just my take. God bless you for about the whole thing. All right. Sir, my opinion, you. like I said. Yeah, it's fine. My opinion. All right. Okay, thank you so much. That caller made a whole lot of sense, but I'm still going to take you back. You know, sometimes we talk and we go round and round. We'll be saying the same thing, but we'll be saying it in a different language. He was trying to say that a lot of people who masturbate sometimes do it because they don't want to cheat on their partners. So you could just use your whole body until your partner comes. Now, maybe the thing where we argue now, now. Masturbation, till your partner comes. Fornication. Air fire. You know, Maya. That is where we are now. In fact, this is not married people just take your popcorn and your juice and just be listening to us because it is battle for battle. Battle for masturbators and battle for fornicators. We are all single. So what are you people saying? Why are you speaking the English as if masturbation is one thing? But you want your girlfriend to come and be called doing Oshobambam. That is also hair fire now. So a lot of people masturbate in peace. He also said people masturbate because they don't want to cheat. They want whole body. Story. A lot of men masturbate because they're not see woman. A lot of them because they are poor. And because say you see girl, they give you free to. So come now, make we give you bill. Go run. So talk at level now. Well, that's the reason why most of you are masturbating. You don't have money. Go and look at people that masturbate a lot. Example. Like what the very dark man. Anytime you depress prick, you don't get money. Now poor people depress prick. Rich men, they carry girls with booty. Just come and shake your nyash. A poor man depress prick avec. Next caller. How can the prick sell us? Umwano. Feel free to call the number on your screen, guys. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, please. I, I want to ask a question. Go ahead, please. So, can someone who masturbates claim the virgin? Can somebody who masturbates masturbate do what? Can, can someone masturbate and still be a virgin? Yeah. That one is end time virgin. Hello? You get my question. I heard you. I said no. That's an end time virgin. Okay. Okay, I want to elaborate on that caller. As the caller gone, he said something very important. Let me speak about it. He said, can somebody still masturbate and be a virgin? Right? A lot of people say in the dictionary that the time your virginity is broken is when freak don't enter, the enemy, hems, <laughs> we see blood come pour. Some of people own blood, no they pour. Let me tell you something. If you've not had sex before, penetrative sex with a man, and you are giving blowjob, they they lick your tutu, you they kiss, you they hug. Now Google key you under virginity. If you are not a virgin, you are an adulterous woman. So no, go and read your Bible. Most of you that think I'm a pagan, I don't cram verses. So long as you have done it in your head, Kuku just do it, oh. If you, a woman pass now and you look at Nyash, say, oh boy, see Nyash, oh. Pursue that Nyash, go now, Kamu, because you don't write down forever, you don't sing. So let's stop, let's stop switching this thing. That's why I used to tell people, choose your sin wisely. Whenever I'm praying to God, I'll tell God, God, I beg, go. Oh, I don't come again, oh, the last time, now forgiveness, now I beg today, now the same thing. I want you to see one movie. The lady went to see a reverend father to do confession and told the reverend father that she has come back again for fornication. The reverend father asked her why. She said, ah! If you see the men that we have, broad chest, beer, beer, dimple, ah! God, you will not understand. Yes. You cannot stop us from fornicating. Now, not like I cannot come from the biblical part. Remember I said something. Things like this are not being preached in church. Why? Spirituality is different from emotion. That's why you people will be walking from church to church, different seminar to different seminar, and you don't have... Remember in the story, the woman said she has gone to different churches. They said she has a band spirit. It's a lie. A lot of churches, if they cannot give you solution, 
they will find something that you know you will never find. Once pastor tell you, say you get spiritual husband, no, say you no get power. Man, I got cast this spirit away now. Is it not your work? I carry you come meet you, you find spiritual husband. But sure, spiritual, there is nothing like that. The difference is that a lot of us are not disciplined. Finish. And I'm going to also use an, an example before we get another call. You see how these men that are making noise, fornication, uh, travel outside the country. That is when you know that men have self-control. Make woman pass, look and for yash. Jail. No, no, Nigeria, we did that. Yes. Jail. Even if a woman, there's a place one of my friends said he went to, everybody was naked in the bush. Focus, straight. If you turn your eye, you are gone. <laughs> Don't be looking straight or you have that goggle. The problem is that we have not disciplined ourselves enough. That's the reason why we are trying to argue fornication, masturbation. They are all sins. But we are only saying, don't do it in excess. I would have come here to speak English and tell you, ah, masturbation is not good, though. fornication is not good. That is why it is moment with blessing see you. Everything that happened behind. I'm not here to come and be sweet talking. And do you know the most interesting part? I've been on the social media for eight years. This is my ninth year. Do you know why I'm still very relevant? Let me tell you. I've been relevant for eight years because I'm relatable. No matter how much you frown at your war war face, do like say you know like blessing. You know say waiting I did talk on a true. That's why I said, I hold the mirror. You see your reflection. If you don't like what you are seeing in the mirror, change it. So that if I bring the mirror again, you will like it. So when it comes to masturbation, it is not bad. It should be controlled. Do you understand? You understand the once in a while. But if they do, ex let me give an example. Let me use myself. Let me use myself. It's just because I have grown mentally, I can now control myself. Women, if you're listening to me on this um, show, do you understand how you feel during your ovulation? When a woman is ovulating, she wants to fork. That is the best time. That's why when you want to get pregnant, your doctor will tell you, ovulation day. Now that time you go, knock, knock, for the picking go enter. After menstruation, ovulation, a lot of women, you're horny. These are hormones. Sometimes you can even wake up from the bed. It's not infection. You see some milky, juicy stuff. It is hormone. You cannot go and fight God now. So the only thing is, this thing we are doing right now on TV, and that's why I love Pop Central for bringing out this education, is for you to understand your body and be able to control your body. The other day, I was, they invited me for a meeting. I wore one very short dress, high heel and a blazer. When I got to my car, I told myself, no, I don't want to go and sell myself as a sexual object. What did I do? I went back. Wore a jean, wore a complete shirt, and wore a belt. When I went into the event, nobody even looked at me. We went straight to business. This thing is discipline. Masturbation, no. Fornication, no. It might sound unbelievable, but I can't remember when last time I masturbated. You know what? I'm speaking for myself. Masturbation for me is stress now that I'm an adult because... For me to masturbate, I'm using myself. A lot of women can relate. I have to visualize. And sometimes, eh, the visuality is eh, I don't tire. Like, I'm me, because I'm an extrovert, my, what goes on in my head, if I bring it out in real life, I beat to shaker everywhere we scatter. So sometimes, I deliberately control myself, not like I don't have the urge to masturbate. But I just tell myself, mm, I beg, we can go sleep. Once I pour cold water for body, you don't go. Even as a man, once the prick rise, and you will make the prick fall. I remember when I was in school then, I was dating this guy, and he told me, hi, hey, baby, I'm honey. I want you to start coming to Asaba. I told him before I come to Asaba, the prick, he said, it's not fall. I said, enter bathroom, pour water. I said, enter bathroom, pour water, prick, fall, or go sleep. 
So it is not every time you have an erection that you must have penetration. No, be every time where your prick stand, it go enter somewhere. Do you hear that? It is not every time you have an erection that there must be penetration. Oga, that is what is called self-control. If your prick stand, enter bathroom, go bath. Hmm? Do you see responsible people, Tony, Lumelu, Dangote, prominent people, do you see them in stupid scandals? Those are men. They have money, caliber of men that have learned self-control. If you don't even learn self-control as a woman, you, you, as a man, you can never be rich. Because if black nyash pass, you go look, fuck. If yellow nyash, you don't even get spec. So this thing is about control. We are all sinners in the eyes of God. You go shock, all of us go meet for air fire. We go dead there. The difference is say, better buy, make money enough to buy AC. Because you know, so when we reach that air fire, we go bribe Angel Gabe and Angel Max. I beg now. Take <laughs> You know, we Nigerians, we always used to tip. <laughs> Don't mind me. So we are still talking about masturbation and we need more calls. Feel free to call the number on your screen before we quickly round up. So, we have a caller. Hello? Hello? Yes, CEO. How are you doing? I feel okay. Now, the way you take home, my name, you want to contribute to the show? Hello? We lost the caller. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling, please turn down the volume of your TV. We need more of opinions before we draw a conclusion. Blessing C, um, Moments with Blessing CEO is a place you can... We talk. We talk about those lies. Those lies that social media used to come and lie. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, ma'am. I can hear you. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Yo. Hello. Ah. How are you? I'm fine, my darling. You want to contribute? How are to you? Yes, I go sit stand. I go soon leave them. We can come on for this television. We have another caller. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Yeah, my name is Jessica. Okay. Yeah, my own opinion on masturbation. I think it's not a sin. I masturbate at a person. That is, my husband is not available for me. I'm seeing your program. We saw it together. I called him. Yeah, masturbation is a sin or not? And they answered, no, if you're free, stand, masturbate. May you free. If I'm horny, I masturbate. I'm free. Nobody is there. So I go outside and begin to say, oh, I just want to be there. I even, no, to me, it's not a thing. I enjoy it if I want to masturbate. Mm. And I'll be free. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Thank you. I love you, my darling. Thank you so much for your honesty. Thank you so much. I love this woman. Why we're going to run? I love this last caller. It's simple. When her man is not around, you, you know, anything that rocks your boots. This life, this, this life is very simple. Now, we're just the complicator. If you want masturbate, masturbate. You want for anyone, anyone, not be you go collect punishment. Masturbate, fornicate. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but don't be addictive. Too much of everything is bad. I'm going to leave you with this. If you're masturbating, let me tell you one way to stop masturbation is distraction. Once, you know, a masturbation comes most times in your quiet moment. You go begin to visualize. You hardly even masturbate where there is noise. Because your brain, your hormones, if you understand biology, this thing sends hormones to your head, to your body, to your vein, for your prick to stand. 
there is a visual in your head. What do you do? What is discipline? Once it's in, don't they come? You stand up, enter bathroom, go back, go to wash plates. That is discipline. Discipline is being able to distract yourself. As a wealthy man, now you can go to club. You don't they see big nyash, you don't they see big nyash. Next thing you don't drink your beer, carry your motor, they go. That is discipline. So whether you're masturbating or you're fornicating, too much of everything is bad. And for those of you who are fornicating, please use protection. I'm tired of hearing this. Bless you, she help me. I'm a single mom. I'm a single mom. I did not open leg with you with water. When you were collecting a bit of shaker, so while you are doing your fornication, do it with the protection. Not like I cannot tell you not to fornicate. I know you will always do what you want to do. After all, the one way you did do now, I don't be me teach you. Your mama teach you how to fuck. How you take learning. The same way you take learning how to fuck, learn how to control yourself. It makes you powerful when you learn control, when you learn discipline, and when you learn understanding. Until I see you guys next time, same station, DSTV, only on Pop Central. Now, only Pop Central, if you given her this undiluted. Hmm. Hey, it they play the show. So this is Moments with Blessing See You. I can't wait to see you guys next week by 10 p.m. Save the date, channel 189. It's, we've not even started. We've just started bringing in guests. We will shake the internet. I'm just taking it so much. I'm just looking at it. Wait! I they bring a bit of shakers. we we'll be saying our boss, we go to boss, we go to boss. I love you guys. And thank you so much for sticking by me. Thank you so much for learning. Thank you so much for listening. I'm grateful and I love you guys. See you guys next time. Same station, channel 189, only on Pop Central. It's moments with blessings. See you. Mwah.